Hey, what's going on? It's Will Graham, the Gorilla Gamer. Hey, this is a video response to a tag that I was tagged in by Down Phoenix. And it is also a tag that other uh, YouTubers are getting in, like uh, Black Metal Gamer, to name one. But uh, basically, it's a challenge to see what kind of cool games you can find at GameStop for a dollar. Uh, I don't have my receipt. I lost it. My wife threw it away. Anything I leave anywhere, she throws it away. But um, if you need to look these up on your GameStop app or whatever to see the prices of them with my 25% off, my power of rewards, and I also had some coupons I was able to trade power of points for. So, anyhow, let's get started on this. First, for the Wii, is King of Clubs. It's a mini golf game. I love golf games, especially on the Wii. You may not understand, but you don't need to. It's just uh, it's one of those things I like to do, and especially with somebody else. Uh, me and my wife really like to play golf games, so this one I grabbed, and it was like uh, $2.99 for this game. So or no, $4.99, and with my deals and everything, I got it for a dollar. Then I picked up. For the Xbox 360, it is uh, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. This game got a lot of flack. It, I, don't, I don't know why. I thought it was really cool. It's kind of like a squad-based, uh, you know, shooter. But the uh, thing is, is it? Well, I thought it was cool. It takes place in 1998 after the events of Resident Evil. It's kind of like this um, umbrella sends in this team to clear out all the witnesses and everything. To kind of it's a cover-up, but it's a really good game. I highly recommend it. It's got really good active servers for multiplayer, too. For my kids, I picked up Connect Adventure. They love the Connect. I don't know. They play all their little arms around and sh shit. I don't know. Picked that up with, again. That one was like four bu or three ninety nine, and with my deals. This one was. For $3.99 as well, and with my deals, I needed an upgrade to it because the one I had had water damage on the label and everything. And all these are complete too. I'm pretty stoked about that. But uh, Layer for the PS3. If you've never heard of Layer, it's kind of like a dragon riding game. The, it came out during the launch, pretty much, uh, PlayStation 3, and it really utilizes the first, uh, what was that, the dual, the, the six axis controller, not the dual shock. The, uh, three, but it used the six axis one. And you can steer your dragon by tilting your thing. And it's very accurate, but you can turn it off. And you can get off your dragon and fight in these epic battles and stuff, and then use your dragon. I don't know why. It, it didn't get much love. Maybe it was the six axis thing, and people didn't understand you could turn it off. I don't know. But it's a good game. Got it for a dollar. Then, at my GameStop, they do this really cool thing where they, uh, they at my GameStop, they have this, these kind of like cardboard boxes that have all these sleeves in them. And these sleeves, they were getting rid of a bunch of PS2 games, so I grabbed a couple of Capcom games. The first one I grabbed was uh, Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law. And you can see up here, it says $3.99 again, and with my dealios, it come out to be a dollar. Or less. I think this one might have been less, or this one. Then, I was able to pick up this awesome uh, it's two ninety nine, and that even says it on there. But this one was uh, Auto Modalista, and it is a cell shade racing game, and it is so fun. It's uh, it, I can't even give this one enough props. I think it came out for the GameCube too, which is a more sought after one. But still, I just want to play the game. Uh, and with two ninety nine and all my gimmicks, this one was actually closer to fifty cents or something. Maybe he just threw it in. I don't know. Don't have the receipt to tell you. <laughs> but anyway, all right. Those are the the list of games I found. There were five of them, five or yeah, five of them for five bucks. Can't beat that. Um, all right. Well, here's my list of YouTubers that I'm gonna tag. First off is uh, probably my best friend on YouTube and uh, and and personally, and that is uh, the Southern Star Gamer. Um, and yeah, he's he likes to go to GameStop and shop too, and he always finds good stuff. So this shouldn't be too hard for him. Um, then I'd like to pick uh, down. Uh, let's see, no, a uh, Bio Phoenix. Yeah, Bio Phoenix. We'll pick Bio Phoenix because, and it's okay. You go to EB if you can. You know, 
uh, and do it there. I don't know how things translate because you're in Canada, so we'll see how that goes. If you want to opt out, uh, understood, brother. Understood. Uh, number three will be Nintendo. Uh, good buddy of mine. Um, you know, I think he finds some current stuff too. Um, and number three. Four, what, yeah, four will be Xander Scullion from the Excess Gaming Podcast. Um, he, 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 he's got to go to GameStop. He's got a ton of stuff behind him. And uh, let's see, uh, how about last but not least, um, the old-ass retro gamer, uh, Christopher Pico. We'll go him. He's a good guy. And uh, if any of you guys uh, don't want to do this, that's okay. You don't have to. I'm not going to hold a gun to your head. But... Um, the cool thing is, is that um, I was able to find a lot of really cool channels through this. So, so I'd like uh, some people to find your channels as well if they haven't heard of you guys yet, which is a crime because everybody I mentioned has great, great content on their YouTube channels. This was a fun challenge. I'm glad Down Phoenix hooked me up on this one. Um, I like to go in there and kind of trying to find things for a dollar. Uh, I did this last week. This is my third time trying to record it. I'm having battery problems. Yesterday I was supposed to have this out, but I was feeling really sick. Um, you know, I got medical issues, but uh, not to get into that, I'm strong. I, you know, I probably can't uh, do as many push-ups is is, or I can't push the earth down like some people. But uh, still, anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. And oh, there was one more, and that was Trace Memory on the DS. I got it in a little sleeve, wasn't complete in the box or nothing, but I got that one for very cheap as well. I could show you a little DS game, but I'd rather just, here it is, uh, Trace Memory. So it's kind of a weird game where you're this girl trying to find your dad, there's a ghost, he helps you. Kind of like Casper, but not. I don't know. Interesting game anyway. Thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you next time.